Hey guys, it's Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. Um, today's video is basically um, me just getting things checked out. Um, essentially, at the moment, it's almost three o'clock, and I'm just about to head to the hospital just to make sure that everything's okay with baby. I'm currently 29, I think 29 plus six, so about 30 weeks. And yeah, I haven't felt baby move today at all. I would usually feel baby move every single morning um, and then throughout the day, but it's very different today for some reason. I just don't know. I haven't felt anything and I've tried drinking cold water, you know, water with ice, all of that and still no movement. And usually throughout the day, like if I drink cold water or if I eat, I would usually feel like, you know, little bit of a kick but today I haven't felt anything so I called a midwife um I should do you know and then she was like I have to come in to be monitored essentially this is just to make sure that you know baby's moving and there's no reduced movement or anything so far my pregnancy has been pretty nice and smooth I would say no complications except for a urine infection that I'm currently taking antibiotics for um, but I didn't even know I had a urine infection because I literally had no symptoms. Um, but obviously when you go in for your checkup, they always do a urine test as well. And yeah, it just came up with me having a urine infection and I'm already at the end of the antibiotics really. So yeah, but other than that, everything else has been okay. Like my glucose test came back normal. Um, everything's fine so far. So I'm not really expecting anything, but I just thought... You know, just check, you know, just never know these things, you know, especially if you're used to like having a certain pattern of movement and then you're not having anything all of a sudden. So, yeah, that's why I'm going in to check. But it's kind of annoying that I have to go all the way to the hospital because I literally have a midwife down here, like honestly, less than five minutes drive away. Um, But they were like, because I'm over 28 weeks, I have to come in to be monitored. So it's gonna be a drive essentially hopefully it won't take too long because yeah i really i really don't want to spend too long in the hospital because i'm working tomorrow today's a monday guys in case you're wondering i work tuesdays up to thursdays essentially and my mondays i like it to be chilled so yeah so i'm gonna go I'll catch you guys in a little bit peace you don't know bad man Hey guys, so we're here now, just waiting for baby to be checked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's body baby, yo. Ah, he's body baby, yo. Yeah, yeah. It's a bad man thing, yeah, yeah. Bad girl, make you wine. Okay, guys, so I'm connected to this machine. This one here, and I have to click this button every time that I feel baby move. Um, this is stuff that I'm connected to. So far, I've definitely felt movement, and everything else has been okay. Not much is fine, tennis is fine, no issues. So, I'll update you guys later on. Yeah, so everything is fine, guys. Everything came back okay. The monitor was okay. Um, baby movement is fine. How is fine. Everything is fine, basically. Um, so I'm done now. She told me I just going to uh, book me a scan just to make sure everything's okay. So I'm supposed to have one within the next 48 to 72 hours just to make sure that you know baby's in the right position and there's no issues really. So she's gone to arrange that. Um, doing really good here because I had the same issue when I had my son, but I was we're living somewhere else, and all we did was just this little machine. Like we didn't do an extra scan. So this hospital definitely it's really good. Like, I'm so happy that we live here now because I feel like the level of care is definitely a lot better than when we were living before. So, yeah, she's just going to do that and then I have to come back here for another scan, which is it's nice, but at the same time, it's like I'm working, you know, I'm literally working within the next three days, so I don't know how I'm going to be able to fit that in, but we'll figure it out. Good morning, guys. Uh, this is the next day following my visit to the hospital. 
to have baby monitored because I couldn't really feel any movement so they've given me a scan appointment today so I'm just heading there now it is just about nine um I need to rush because my appointment is for 20 past nine so yeah I'm gonna rush there get the scan done and then I'm gonna head to work after that as well so it looks like it's gonna be a pretty long busy day because obviously I'm gonna be in a little bit later it means I'm gonna finish work a bit later as well so I'm really really not looking forward to today at all because I love to get to work early finish early and then just head home and do my other stuff that I've got to do for the family so anyways it looks like it's gonna be a long day so I might be back maybe for like like six or maybe just about like qu quarter past six and I have to make dinner tonight so it has to be something really simple so I'm gonna just gonna head off there so I'm not late um I don't know if the dress I wore is sort of okay because I don't know um but we'll figure it out um so I couldn't really find anything else that I could wear that would make my access to my tummy a little bit easier but anyways um, so I'm just gonna head there now. I'll catch you guys later because I get I got to get driving before this traffic um, It's normally about 15 minutes to get to the hospital, but if there's traffic I might be out for a bit long Yeah, if there's traffic it might take me a little bit longer. So that's why I just need to like Just get moving. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit with a quick update of how baby is doing. So see you later um i don't think i quite updated you guys this morning because i was kind of running late um to work so i just thought i'll do this quick update after work so it's now half five and i'm just going home and i just thought i'll just do a quick update so the scan was fine and baby was baby was okay you know growing okay but then um the thing is baby is a breach um but then they don't particularly seem too worried about it because i'm only 30 weeks so they're hoping that you know by the time i have my next scan which will be in about four weeks or five weeks something like that um that the baby would have turned um so i'm just hoping i'm praying that you know when i go for my next scan that my final scan that the baby has actually turned um obviously if baby hasn't turned then maybe there will be a change of plan when it comes to like you know delivery and stuff like that but anyway so far everything's fine baby's going okay um it's just that yeah baby's just in a breech position that's all i feel super tired it's been a long day busy day yeah i'm just gonna drive home now and basically just get get some rest honestly i just want to sleep now i don't know what i'm going to make for dinner it looks like it might just be takeaway but anyways we'll, we'll figure it out when we get back so i just thought i'll come in here and update you guys it's so hot um not complaining though because we don't get that much sun in the uk um but yeah it's definitely a hot day so yeah i'm just gonna head home now and sort out the stuff that i need to do but everything else is fine with the baby at least i'm happy it's just the position that the baby's in at the moment that is not necessarily the best position but anyways we'll leave everything to god you know um so i'll catch you guys in the next vlog um look at how dark my neck is honestly pregnancy is no joke pregnancy literally is no joke i just feel like i'm so dark <laughs> honestly like so so dark um and obviously the weight gain as well but i know at the end of this we're gonna have a healthy bouncy baby um which is the most important thing anyways so anyways guys i think i'm just tired i'm just rambling so i'll catch you guys in the next vlog thanks so much for watching don't forget to like the video also subscribe to the channel guys if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next one bye